and today I'm going to be going over how to set up and run your Holix Kit Exchange on your local machine. Um, you should already have a Holix Kit Exchange created um, through the dashboard. So if you haven't done that, please go to our previous video covering that aspect. But for this, we're joint. We're just going to be going over how to install Holix Kit on your local machine, how to set it up, and how to run it locally. Now first, of course, you want to go to the dash.bithala.com. I'm just going to log into my account. And there we go. Uh, so I already created this exchange, Brandon-Setup. Obviously, this is just a placeholder name for this specific video. Now, you want to go to this hosting type DIY or hosting type this is a hosting tab and make sure that this uh, this radio selector is on the DIY not the cloud if you're on the cloud you won't be able to do this so make sure it's on the DIY option and then it basically kind of goes over how to set it up here but I'm just going to be going over it here manually so after you have set up your exchange or actually created your exchange through the dashboard and you set this type to DIY, now what you want to do is use um, the terminal of your choice. And first you want to clone the Holix kit repo. Now, if you go to the documentation for Holix, they have a very, you know, very thorough and easy to follow instruction on how to install and set up it's these two but i'm going to be going over here uh, first you want to make sure that your system meets all these requirements um, pretty much this is just the system requirements for your actual machine that you're using and also you need docker docker compose and json parser installed if you don't have those, uh, please follow the instructions below. They're pretty easy to install. Um, I'm just going to be skipping over that for now because I already have it installed on my computer. Now, what we want to do first, like I said, is pretty much just clone the Holix kit repository. So I'm going to copy this and then on my terminal, I'm just gonna paste it. Excuse me while I try to do this. All right. If you've used Git and GitHub before, this is pretty straightforward. All right, cool. Now it's installed. Let's go into the directory. CD Holix kit. All right, and now from here, what you wanna do is install the Holix CLI. The CLI allows you to pretty much run the Holix uh, kit exchange through the terminal um, with a few commands. So what you wanna do is first go into the directory like I did over here, and then run bash install.sh. I already have it installed, so it's showing this, but you could pretty much ignore that part. Gotta type in my computer password. Okay, and now the Holix CLI is installed. Um, just to kind of prove that, I'll just type in Holix. And it shows you all the commands, um, you know, all the good stuff on here. Now, after this, what we want to do to actually run this specific exchange that we have created through the dashboard is, let's go to the setup. We want to run first, we want to get the server up on our local machine. So we use this command, holla x server dash dash setup. Again, it's pretty simple. Let's just type that in. Okay, so now, uh, have you already set up your exchange on BitHolla dashboard? Again, you should have already done this before. If you haven't, go to a previous video where we go over how to actually set it up through the dashboard. I've already done that, which is this one. So let's go ahead and proceed. This is asking for the credentials that you use on the dashboard. 
So mine is Brandon setup at bidhala.com. Password. Don't have OTP code. Okay, and this is again the exchange, uh, exchange number one. Input the exchange number basically that you want to run on your local machine. And then do you want to continue? Yes. Uh, this is going to take a f bit, so let's fast forward. Um, but the process, you just have to wait and wait for it to get set up. Okay, so now our exchange is up and running on a local machine, at least the server. So now all we have to do is go to our local host slash v2 slash health. This endpoint kind of just um, gives you the health status of the server, pretty much lets you know if it's up and running or not. Go ahead and press enter and there we go. So the name of the exchange is Brandon Setup. It's the name right here. Version of the kit 2.1.10. This is the latest one at this current time. Host is HTTP local host, obviously. And the base path is V2. So our server is up. Now what we have to do is set up the client on our local machine as well. Um, if we go, oh, excuse me. If we go to the documentation to set up the client or the web client, um, it's pretty much the same process. What we want to do is run Hala X web dash dash setup. So let's run that here. Now this process takes uh, a little bit longer than the server. Um, it takes roughly around like 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward, but um, it also asks you that those questions that I mentioned above in the middle of it. But um, so be ready for that, but you could just go ahead and press enter when those questions are asked. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the point where this is actually set up. Okay, so now the Hala X web client um, has been set up for your local machine. Now, all you have to do is run this command right here, holoex web dash dash start. Uh, again, just to reiterate, this process, the setup process took uh, longer than the server setup. It took around 20 minutes for me personally. Um, it might differ for you, but it does take a bit longer. So keep that in mind when you run this command. But anyways, we could run holoex web dash dash start. And now the client is starting on your machine. So it is running on the port 8080, uh, localhost 8080. So let's go to that, just to make sure it's running. And there you go. Now this is the page we're going to see when you first uh, set up and start your exchange for the first time. Um, well, there will be a separate video basically going through this process, but this video specifically is, was about setting up the server and the client. As you can see, it only took like around five or six commands in total. So the process is very simple and um, hope you guys found this helpful. Or actually, before I go away, I just want to let you guys know about how to stop the exchange um, from running without like actually deleting anything. So you notice that the Holex web has a start um, command, also the Holex server to, to stop and start your server. Um, we use start and we also use setup. So to stop it, you just type in Holex web dash dash stop. Are you sure you want to stop it? And it's very simple to stop it. You just run that and then now it's not running. So if I refresh this, can't connect to the server. Um, the server is still running though. So to stop the server, you could just run holla x server dash dash stop. And now the server is not running. So if I try to access this again, Safari can't connect to the server. So there you have it. You learned how to set up 
a DIY exchange on your local machine, uh, both the server and the web client. Uh, and you also learned how to stop it using very basic commands. So I hope you found this video helpful and please tune into the next one where we talk about how to set up uh, your DIY exchanges domain. Um, quick, it is pretty much this section right here. And uh, so yeah, tune into that and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.